Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here, coming at you with yet another StarCraft 2 commentary. And uh, this is going to be, I think, an enter entertaining game. Uh, this is a game between Select, uh, of course one of the top US players, and Dalai Lamer, Dalai Lamer, Dalai Lamer I guess. Uh, however you want to pronounce it, I'm not sure how he pronounces it, talking about the uh, icon that Select has apparently. Uh, must be referring to the uh, <clears throat> the you know the avatar icon that shows on the screen the loading screen uh, before these guys played. Uh, anyway, I don't know what icon he has though. Now I'm curious. Uh, Select is going to be the Terran here. BlizzCon. Oh, he maybe he got a special icon for participating in BlizzCon. That's kind of cool. That'd be pretty slick. I wonder what it is. Um, anyway, Select is playing against Dolly Lamer or Dolly Lamer. However you want to pronounce it, and uh, I, unfortunately I don't know too much about Dalai Lama. Uh, I haven't seen him getting too high in any tournaments recently in StarCraft Two tournaments um, that I've seen. Again, I might have missed it though. You know, I don't keep track of all the tournaments that there are. I just kind of keep my eye out, keep my ear to the ground, and see if I can hear any stampedes coming. Basically, um, I do know he's a very good player though. Uh, he's uh, 2200. Uh, point diamond player right now, so definitely high level. And this SCV is going to come and scout what's going on, and it's just going to miss out on being harassing on this uh, on this expansion. Um, anyway, Dolly Lamar going for a um, pretty normal build here, going for an expansion on 15. He's going to save up and put his pool down on 14. Very normal build here for uh, <clears throat> for Zerg players and uh, select again pretty normal as well going for a refinery um, but you guys don't want to hear about how things are normal uh, you guys want to hear news about uh, the GSL uh, just to buy some time here in the beginning of the game uh, those of you that haven't been following the GSL it's getting very very exciting um, of course Boxer is in the GSL this season he has made it to the round of 16 yes yes in fact and that is very very exciting for StarCraft fans everywhere um, to see uh, Slayer's Boxer back in action and uh, back owning again in a new game this time in the GSL and um, uh, uh, in addition Nada same same goes for him Nada is also uh, in the round of 16 of the GSL uh, I guess I should maybe I'll put something at the beginning uh, saying that there's GSL spoilers in case anyone does care um, Dalai Lama has got his um, expansion up now he's transferring a few drones over there it's interesting that um, it's kind of uh, it's partly unnecessary to transfer drones uh, for, to transfer to your new expansion um, <clears throat> basically it, it, mining one one drone per patch here is the same as mining two drones per patch here or one and one is the same as mining two and zero. Um, you don't really get anything extra of mainerting them to your extra expansion because of the new AI that's going on here. And, and uh, by the way, select making a Hellion and building a reactor on his barracks. He's probably going to switch the factory over to the reactor as soon as this Hellion and the reactor are finished and make more Hellions. He's going for a lot of Hellions here. And I want to see if he's going to make, uh, let's see, a barracks, another barracks in the background, putting down a tech lab. And another barracks in the background, so he's going to switch to a bio build after he gets these Hellions out. Uh, the single Hellion is going to roast that Zergling pretty hardcore. And no, he's actually just making Marines off the uh, the 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 racks with the reactor after all. So just going for a single Hellion just to kind of take care of Zerglings, and uh, then he's going to move out and try and harass. But he's going to force him to put uh, well. Queens are actually going to be able to take care of a single Hellion. Okay. Um, sometimes they do run around the back and kill drones, especially if there's four or five Hellions, then you really have to, the Queens can't kill them fast enough. And here he comes in for some harassment, might even catch this creep tumor while it's building, uh, before it cloaks. Anyway, he's going to run and he's going to try and, uh, kill some drones off. He's just going to micro around drones attacking that Hellion actually, which is, they don't want to get near it. Uh, single drone does go down. And finally that Hellion does get trapped. That's what he was trying to do, was to trap that Hellion in place and uh, stop it from getting out of the way. Anyway, Idra is also in the round of 16 of the uh, GSL, in case anyone cares um, uh, about the GSL. So very, very cool to see some some uh, high-profile players actually making it very far in the GSL. You know, uh, everyone's been wanting for a return of Boxer. Uh, not up for a long time and so now they're actually getting their chance I like this move by select he's got his racks back here 
and he's keeping his forces back here as well. And the last thing that he saw, uh, let's see, the last thing he saw was, yeah, the factory and the reactor on the barracks. So he might be thinking, for instance, that uh, he might have put the reactor on the factory and he's making more Hellions, when in fact he's mounting up lots and lots and lots of troops over here, bio troops, and he's going to have to get something to deal with that. He does have a bailing nest up now, uh, and he's just got an evolution chamber, so he can start those upgrades. His lair is up. I'm curious to see what kind of lair tech he's going to go for, if he's going to go to Spire or not. Some Zerglings coming out now, and with the bailing nest morphing in, there we go. Banelings are plenty. Um, and they're going to be able to do very well against the bio army. Are the Banelings going to come in in time, though, to deal with these two um, dropships? One full of Marines, one full of um, uh, Marauders. Uh, he's got decent upgrades on him, I believe. Yeah, he just has. Well, actually, no, he just has the stim. That's all. Banelings are going to be right underneath. Oh, he drops out. Oh, one of them was a Hellion, actually. And oh, no! Wastes all of his Banelings on just that one. Marauder and Hellion, and now the rest of the forces can drop out uh, with ease. They are going to get cleaned up by these uh, Zerglings, but a little bit poor Micro uh, there by just using up all of his Bane Links. He just A-moved them, and they all, unfortunately, popped. And look at this. He's just <laughs> Microing back and forth, trying to get some kills with that Hellion. If he could get you know, another flame on a series of these uh, Zerglings, he could have killed a few of them. He was trying to trying to do that, and he's going to come back in for more. It looks like Zerglings are already there, waiting to come back and uh, and and kill that off. He drops out the Hellion, trying to get another, a third dropship, dropping more forces in there. Banelings morphing on top of those units, kind of forcing him to uh, to get stuck in that location. Um, and now he's going to fall back though, with that queen coming over to take care of the uh, the dropships. The Banelings do come out, and that would have been kind of cool if the if the units were still there when the banelings hatched, they would have just immediately popped on them. Uh, anyway, so a lot of back and forth here. Overseers just chilling over here, seeing what's going on. Uh, looks like he might be over there to put down a changeling. More harassment coming from Select. He needs to be careful. Those dropships are getting a little bit low on health. This queen could take care of it. This time he's dropping out a lot of marines. Here come the banelings. Get those marines out of there. Get them out. Oh my gosh, and they're too far away from the dropships. Can't get loaded back up. And those banelings take care of a good amount of marines that last baneling is he going to get in yes the last baneling does get in and uh, takes care of that this uh, hellion unfortunately not doing much damage he's concentrating on the marines uh not microing the hellion very much